A very good morning to all my viewers. Keeping your kidney in a healthy state is important, but what is more important is not to ignore any initial sign of kidney damage that might cause problem at later stage. This is why I, Dr. Poon Dhawan, will be talking about one such symptom that should not be ignored, as it can be one of the early signs of chronic kidney disease. Apart from this, I will also be discussing about the other symptoms linked with the protein loss and what effects they have on our human body. So let's start with proteinuria. Proteinuria is a condition in which protein starts to leak in the urine. Thus, an individual can have a formal urine output compared to the clear one considered healthy. With this condition, a person can develop many deficiencies over time, leading to other health issues. Therefore, it is essential to understand what exactly proteinuria is and how it affects an individual's health. Proteins are the primary working molecule in our body. They are responsible for carrying oxygen throughout the body, repairing and building bones and muscles. In addition, healthy kidneys filter out excess fuel and waste from the blood, while allowing protein and other essential elements to flow inside the body. In an average healthy individual, there is a no protein present in urine. But if the presence of protein is found, it is not a positive sign and in the morning it can be devastating. Now there is two types of protein urea that an individual can experience due to different reasons. The first one is physiological or we can say transient protein urea. With the protein loss in urine can occur due to heavy exercise, high blood pressure or even if the individual is suffering from fever. Therefore, such type of transient protein urea does not require medical treatment and can be looked after by not indulging in heavy exercise and maintaining your blood pressure. The second type is pathological or we can say persistent type of protein urea. Where the presence of proteins in the urine is because the kidney are not functioning properly. Let me explain. Our kidney are made of thousands of nephrons receiving blood to be filtered so that it can be circled back into the body. This blood contains a protein known as albumin, which is primarily responsible for the building the tissue and other essential functions of the body. However, when this protein starts to leak from the body via our urine, its deficiency can be seen in terms of our blood getting thin and losing its density, causing swelling in the feet and puffiness under the eyes. With this, an individual can also face an increase in their cholesterol level as protein inhibits the formation of cholesterol in our body. Therefore, if proper steps are not taken to improve this condition, it can lead to complications in other organs such as our lungs and kidneys. Now the question arises why the kidney is taking damage. Whenever the function of our kidney decreases, we fail to look for the reason behind it before taking any medical help. Our kidney cannot get damage on them, and in around 80% of cases, high blood pressure and diabetes are the two most prevalent reasons why the kidney get damaged gradually. Protein in urine is typically an early indicator of kidney illness, even before any abnormalities in other kidney disease tests, such as rise in the kidney level. In addition, protein in urine is linked to the hypertension, obesity, and heart disease. Moving on the major symptoms that can be seen in an individual who is suffering from proteinuria. Talking about the first type of proteinuria as we discussed above, transit proteinuria can occur due to heavy exercise or if an individual is suffering from fever. Therefore, the symptoms attached are not serious in nature and can range anywhere from high stress to dehydration. On the other hand, Pathological proteinuria is a clear indicator that the kidneys are getting damaged and therefore the symptoms are serious in nature. An individual suffering from persistent proteinuria can experience symptoms such as swelling, shortness of breath, nausea, muscle cramp, and lack, a lack of appetite. For an individual, it is easier to check their blood pressure and sugar, then take care of the kidney when the damage is being caused due to the different reasons. For example, in polycystic kidney disease, there is not much that a person can do on a personal level as it is an inherited condition. Similarly, if we talk about IT nephropathy, it is impossible for an individual to work on it because it is an autoimmune disorder. Now let's move to the treatment part of the 
protein urea. Protein urea is called due to several reasons which we discussed above. Therefore, the treatment can vary depending upon the type of protein urea the individual is suffering from. Usually, when the when dealing with the patient who have kidney damage, we at Shriyas advise a strict nutritional diet as well as keeping the blood pressure and sugar levels in control. In most cases, pertaining to kidney disease, high sugar and blood pressure are the leading causes. Therefore, keeping them in control can reduce the chances of damage to the kidneys. With this, consuming less protein and salt can go a long way as they are increased in the body. Also, it is imperative that every individual get checked regularly if they see that a urine is protein or smelly, as it can be a sign of early kidney damage. With this, there are natural ways in which an individual can get rid of protein in their urine in order to keep the kidney healthy. Now that we have reached the end of today's video, I hope I could explain protein urea to all my viewers and how we can infect your body. However, it is essential not to ignore this early sign as just by following a few steps, you can avoid many complications related to the kidney in the future. In the following video, I will discuss the remedies and natural treatment with which we can reduce the symptom of this condition and treat it from its cause. With this, it is time for me to take your leave. But before that, I request all my viewers to feel free to comment in the section below for any further doubts related to the proteinuria or its symptoms. Till then, stay safe and take care of your babies. See you next time.